In astronautics, a powered flyby, or Oberth maneuver, is a maneuver in which a spacecraft falls into a gravitational well, and then accelerates when its fall reaches maximum speed. The resulting maneuver is a more efficient way to gain kinetic energy than applying the same impulse outside of a gravitational well. The gain in efficiency is explained by the Oberth effect, wherein the use of an engine at higher speeds generates greater mechanical energy than use at lower speeds. In practical terms, this means that the most energy-efficient method for a spacecraft to burn its engine is at the lowest possible orbital periapsis, when its orbital velocity and so, its kinetic energy is greatest. In some cases, it is even worth spending fuel on slowing the spacecraft into a gravity well to take advantage of the efficiencies of the Oberth effect. The maneuver and effect are named after Hermann Oberth, the Austro-Hungarian-born German physicist and a founder of modern rocketry, who first described them in 1927. The Oberth effect is strongest at a point in orbit known as the periapsis, where the gravitational potential is lowest and the speed is highest. This is because firing a rocket engine at high speed causes a greater change in kinetic energy than when fired at lower speed. Because the vehicle remains near periapsis only for a short time, for the Oberth maneuver to be most effective the vehicle must be able to generate as much impulse as possible in the shortest possible time. Thus, the Oberth maneuver is much more useful for high-thrust rocket engines like liquid propellant rockets, and less useful for low-thrust reaction engines such as ion drives, which take a long time to gain speed. The Oberth effect also can be used to understand the behavior of multi stage rockets. The upper stage can generate much more usable kinetic energy than the total chemical energy of the propellants it carries. The Oberth effect occurs because the propellant has more usable energy due to its kinetic energy in addition to its chemical potential energy. The vehicle is able to employ this kinetic energy to generate more mechanical power. Topic. Description Topic. Explanation in terms of work Rocket engines produce the same force regardless of their velocity. A rocket acting on a fixed object, as in a static firing, does no useful work at all. The rocket's stored energy is entirely expended on accelerating its propellant in the form of exhaust. But when the rocket moves, its thrust acts through the distance it moves. Force multiplied by distance is the definition of mechanical energy or work. So the farther the rocket and payload move during the burn i.e. the faster they move, the greater the kinetic energy imparted to the rocket and its payload and the less to its exhaust. This is shown as follows. The mechanical work done on the rocket W display style W is defined as the dot product of the force of the engine's thrust f display style vec f and the displacement it travels during the burn s display style vec s w equals f s display style w equals vec f c d o t vec s if the burn is made in the prograde direction f s equals f s equals f s display style vec f c d o t vec s equals f c d o t s equals f c d o t s the work results in a change in kinetic energy delta E K equals F S display style delta E underscore K equals F C D O T S. Differentiating with respect to time, we obtain D E K D T equals F D S. D T display style frac mathrm D E underscore K mathrm D T equals F C D O T frac mathrm D S mathrm D T or D E K 
d t equals f v display style frac mathrm d e underscore k mathrm d t equals f c d o t v where v display style v is the velocity dividing by the instantaneous mass m display style m to express this in terms of specific energy e k display style e underscore k we get d e k d t equals f m v equals a v display style frac mathrm d e underscore k mathrm d t equals frac f m c d o t v equals a c d o t v where a display style a is the acceleration vector thus it can be readily seen that the rate of gain of specific energy of every part of the rocket is proportional to speed and given this the equation can be integrated to calculate the overall increase in specific energy of the rocket However, integrating this is often unnecessary if the burn duration is short. For example, as a vehicle falls towards periapsis in any orbit, closed or escape orbits, the velocity relative to the central body increases. Briefly burning the engine and impulsive burn prograde at periapsis increases the velocity by the same increment as at any other time. Delta v display style delta v However, since the vehicle's kinetic energy is related to the square of its velocity, this increase in velocity has a nonlinear effect on the vehicle's kinetic energy, leaving it with higher energy than if the burn were achieved at any other time. It may seem that the rocket is getting energy for free, which would violate conservation of energy. However, any gain to the rocket's kinetic energy is balanced by a relative decrease in the kinetic energy the exhaust is left with. The kinetic energy of the exhaust may still increase, but it does not increase as much. Contrast this to the situation of static firing, where the speed of the engine is fixed at zero. This means that its kinetic energy does not increase at all, and all the chemical energy released by the fuel is converted to the exhaust's kinetic energy and heat. At very high speeds the mechanical power imparted to the rocket can exceed the total power liberated in the combustion of the propellant, this may also seem to violate conservation of energy. But the propellants in a fast-moving rocket carry energy not only chemically, but also in their own kinetic energy, which at speeds above a few kilometers per second exceed the chemical component. When these propellants are burned, some of this kinetic energy is transferred to the rocket along with the chemical energy released by burning. This can partly make up for what is extremely low efficiency early in the rocket's flight when it is moving only slowly. Most of the work done by a rocket early in flight is invested in the kinetic energy of the propellant not yet burned, part of which they will release later when they are burned. Topic. Impulsive burn Whereas the integration of the above energy equation can be done, numerically or otherwise, short burns of chemical rocket engines close to periapsis or elsewhere are usually mathematically modeled as impulsive burns, where the force of the engine dominates any other forces that might change the vehicle's energy over the burn. <laughs> Oberth calculation for parabolic orbit If an impulsive burn of delta v is performed at periapsis in a parabolic orbit, then the velocity at periapsis before the burn is equal to the escape velocity VESC, and the specific kinetic energy after the burn is E k equals 1 2 v 2 equals 1 2 v ESC plus delta V two equals one two V ESC two plus 
delta v v esc plus 1 2 Delta V two display style begin aligned E underscore K and equals TFRAC one two V carrot two and equals TFRAC one two V underscore text ESC plus delta V carrot two and equals TFRAC one two V underscore text ESC carrot two plus delta V underscore text ESC plus TFRAC one two delta V carrot two end aligned where V equals V ESC C plus delta V display style V equals V underscore text ESC plus delta V. When the vehicle leaves the gravity field, the loss of specific kinetic energy is one two volts ESC two display style TFRAC one two V underscore text ESC carrot two. So it retains the energy delta V V ESC plus one two delta V two display style delta V V underscore text ESC plus TFRAC one two delta V carrot two, which is larger than the energy from a burn outside the gravitational field one two delta V two. Display style TFRAC one two delta V carrot two by delta V V E S C Display style delta V V underscore text E S C When the vehicle has left the gravity well, it is travelling at a speed V equals delta V one plus two V E S C Delta V Display style V equals delta V SQRT one plus frac two volts underscore text ESC delta V for the case where the added impulse delta V is small compared to escape velocity, the one can be ignored, and the effective delta V of the impulsive burn can be seen to be multiplied by a factor of simply two V ESC delta V display style sqrt frac 2 volts underscore text esc delta v similar effects happen in closed and hyperbolic orbits topic parabolic example if the vehicle travels at velocity v at the start of a burn that changes the velocity by delta v then the change in specific orbital energy soe is v delta v plus 1 2 delta v 2 Display style v delta v plus tfrac 1 2 delta v caret 2 once the spacecraft is far from the planet again, the SOE is entirely kinetic, since gravitational potential energy approaches zero. Therefore, the larger the V at the time of the burn, the greater the final kinetic energy, and the higher the final velocity. The effect becomes more pronounced the closer to the central body, or more generally, the deeper in the gravitational field potential the burn occurs, since the velocity is higher there. So if a spacecraft is on a parabolic flyby of Jupiter with a periapsis velocity of 50 km per second and performs a 5 km per second burn, it turns out that the final velocity change at great distance is 22.9 km per second, giving a multiplication of the burn by 4.58 times. Topic. See also. Bioelliptic transfer Gravity assist Propulsive efficiency <laughs> <laughs>